How's it going, Toy Table fans? Welcome back to the Toy Table. If you're a subscriber, if you're new, welcome to the channel. I am Steve, your host. Um, I got out some cars here that I'm going to do a choose your ride on here in a moment. Uh, these cars are all kind of uh, are all all used, but loose cars from a flea market, my first flea market haul way back in March of 2018, and now it's well right between uh, Christmas and New Year's, so. Hopefully everybody out there had a great uh, Christmas and uh, we got a lot of good stuff and Hot Wheels and had to go out some good meals and good friends and good company and good family, as I did. And that leads me to, well, on my search now to find a car that's going to take down Pokemon Tom's King of the Hill. I gave him a whole bunch of Mustangs there for his Christmas present along with the Six Lane Raceway. Anyways, we came down, took it down to this house track that we have, which you see the base of it there. Um, we just have it at a standard height and 10 lengths of 6 lanes. Sometimes they get shimmied, sometimes they don't, but that's just kind of like the randomness of it. And, you know, they're amateurs and not really taking it too professional, but at the same time, I'm pretty competitive. And I'll, I've got to find a car that's going to take down his Mustang. This one's going to go right into the Ken pile because it's not going to win. So, For those who don't know, the, the Howler uh, chugs along and slows down because of the mouth. And I remember I bought this because it was like in really, really good condition. Oh, by the way, comment below if you want a car in the race and be mentioned. And maybe in a shout out somehow if you remember. If my nephew... It's going to be fine. Just We'll try to remember who picks who. Lotus Esprit. Because, you know, when you're racing, you just don't know. You, just, you, you, get, you get caught up in the race. You forget to say whose car or you forget. As you call it. That one doesn't ra race too bad, but it's in really good condition, actually, I think. But it's got to be fast. We got the 69 Corvette. It'll be just cool to see that race. Next one up, 69 Mustang. Tuned up. Well, I don't think it's going to do it, but we'll put him in the race. Looks like a Capo Camaro. It's a Hot Wheels, but it it feels like it feels like a, a Massa, not too solid. I'm gonna spit an image, split an image. Nice old old one. That one rolls pretty nice. For how old it is, we'll put him in the competition. And we got a Volkswagen Beetle. A little rat, rat rat tail on it. He's not too bad. May as well keep the beetle train going. Fans of the beetles. Got another one. Oh, almost right off the table. Alright. Next up. Got another old well 2001. It's all metal. Kind of looks like a viper. It's a treasure hunt, I think. I don't know whether it'll focus, but it's got the fire on it. The bull's not too bad. Let me know in the comments if this is a treasure hunt. But it does have that flame right on the hood there. I don't think it's going to get it. Didn't even notice it when I bought it. 1990. A sports car thing. That one doesn't even move too bad. But I don't think we're going to let it race. The back wheel doesn't even move. Yeah, I bought these at the flea market. It was my first trip to the flea market. I was kind of new to the game. And, you know, it was like seven cars or five, six, five, six, seven cars for five bucks. And I just needed cars. And then I ended up not really using them until now. 
Oddly enough, that one doesn't race too bad. What is this one? It's a Dodge Charger. Oh, say hello. To, this is a Toy Tail Stadium, by the way. A part that is easily moving aroundable or mobile. We got the Rock sitting there. He's the newest fan. The Ferrari Testarossa, I believe. Doesn't move too bad. Okay, we got a 67 Pontiac Firebird. Yeah. Whoa. Not too bad. Got a Jaguar. I remember the guy saying that these were always really legendary fast. And that's pretty fast. I could I could live with the Jaguars, King of the Hill. Okay, looks like we got another split in the image. They're very similar. That roof, that, that that roll is pretty good. This might not be a Jaguar actually, because NX48 Turbo that one because this one's the Jag this one's all metal and still rolls really nice could be your favorite right there get another one of those uh, MX turbos he rolls nice too bringing all the guns we got the Cunningham car. A Porsche that doesn't really look like a Porsche. Porsche. It's all black in there, it's kind of ticked off. I don't think that's going to win. It's got a kind of slag on it. Volkswagen wagon. All of these is just so narrow. They really rattle around. But we'll add them into a heat somewhere. Got a Corvette C7. Nice Hunter Green. There's a fast car. That back road's filling up nice. Got a Cobra, it looks like, or a Bosch. Opening hood. What is that, though? It's all metal. It's got some length to it. Silver bullet. Sixty nine Capo Camaro. Look at that. Or it's a Corvette. Why did I read Capo Camaro? I always think Capo is Corvette. Sixty nine Corvette. This now will definitely be in my top ten. Your Hot Wheels. And it rolls alright. Alright, got a few more here off camera. Moving in. Chevrolet SS. I think it rolls enough, good enough to qualify. I don't think it's going to be a heavy favorite. Ultra Rage. That could sneak into the, the finals. You never know what happens in the finals. Got a front end of a truck. Six wheeler. Got the 69 Camaro. I always want to call that like Hendrix, but it's it's like I, I can never really re remember what people call that inside. Doesn't really roll too well either. 
Camaro Z28. Tuned, but not tuned enough. 68 Dodge Cougar. A little squeaky. Golden Arrow. I think this one was pretty fast. Yeah, that, that has some leg to it. Uh, 71 Cougar Dodge. Dodge! We'll put them out in there as a filler in her. Got a no name car, but looks like a Chevrolet or a, definitely an older 60s style. Maybe late 50s. This doesn't really roll very well. Disappointing, but I did buy it. I remember it didn't really roll well on the shelf, but uh, I liked it. Maybe got another Corvette here. Almost to the end, guys. And again, 1975 on this Corvette. It's really heavy. It'd be kind of neat to like, as some guys have said in videos, just to give them the older ones a little psh, 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 and just say they've been juiced up, but just to see the older cars roll. But that's not how we roll down the bikes. This is, we got a Chevelle to finish off. A nice green Chevelle. It gets kind of locked up. So, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Here are your cars. Go ahead and make a selection. They're going to be racing in no particular order because I imagine they'll just get jostled around. But these are going to be the cars that are going to be racing at the, the next race. I hope to do them up on Saturday race and we're going to be in heats of six winner goes on to i guess then you know the next the next finals and then winner goes on winner goes on and the winning car will get the chance to get up into the case of fast way over there it was quite astonishing or not astonishing you know what i mean but most of these cars if not all of them have all been raced to try to get into this case fast. So, we're going to do that. And if that doesn't work, you can't find a gem out of this little pile here. And we've got some more that I bought yesterday from the thing. And Aquaman. Got to take him down. Pokemon Tom. Thanks for watching, guys.